Good morning everybody out here with the garden and of course the the old cup of coffee ah, let's check on these carrots see how they doing <clears throat> they's a doing they's a doing all right let me set my cup down now I'm gonna show you something and I know you are gonna say blah 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 but did it on purpose just so you could see the different things you can use and whatever you know it's about what you got urban gardening is about using what you got and sometimes you don't have all the fancy gadgets that you see online so we're going to take a look at how we staked made a little climbing thing for the peas because peas they like to climb you see these little the little hair things these little little tentacles well they'll use them to climb just keep growing and you need something so as you see we got some regular brown twine and my husband was nice enough and generous enough to bring out his braided fishing line and then just some white rope twine you know we went and cut you know some saplings out of the woods because as you see you know we got plenty of those and just weaved and however you feel like doing it you know you can do like down here on the bottom you can see I, I started you know like an actual geometric shape and then around you know we've got the basics of something nice but then the rest of it like I said it it really is just to give something for these peas to climb up. Me and my husband's got this joke saying we're just going to have a big old cluster of stuff. But, you know, again, just use what you got. And down here, we lashed it, you know, using some electrical tape just to show you, you know, you don't need zip ties or anything like that. Use what, use what you got. Urban gardening is seriously using what you got so that you can grow. You don't have to be out in the country you know or anything like that to have a garden you can grow inside city limits and different things like that look at them onions some onions are popping up and peas are doing really really good and radishes that we transplanted they're doing good and the basil and our herbs but them carrots i'm i'm digging the carrots this year i'm liking it Hold on, we'll go over and look at how we staked for the green beans. Got me some geese flying overhead. Now, again, just cut some saplings out of the woods. We made us some tripods here for our green beans when they start coming up out of the ground for them because some of them were pole beans and some of them were bush beans. You'll see the difference. Pepper plants, they're looking all right corn's coming up I'm gonna have to replant the second row it was two different varieties and that second variety on that second row planted the same day and it ain't even popped up out of the ground yet so we're gonna have to redo that one but you know I think no nope. that's not Well, I'm going to water some carrots so they don't dry out, and y'all have a good day.